Bengal Divided, Hindu Communism and Partition is an exceptional book written by Joa Chatterjee, a fellow British Academy, deals with a really discussed history of the political flow in British Raj from communal award to the partition of India. Her doctoral thesis was this very book. She has supervised some 25 doctoral theses on modern South Asian history, citizenship, diaspora, borders and refugees. To understand the context of this book, one must know about the contemporary and preceding incidents of Bengal under the British Raj. After the Battle of Pilasi, British rule grew around Calcutta. With them, the neighbouring upper caste Hindus flourished adapting the colonial economy, education, social culture and even political organisations leading to the formation of Badarlok or Babu elite dominated ideas of Indian nationalism as they were from the upper caste society which had Hindu pride in educated and colonial system which had deep apathy towards the resistance of colonial expansion especially from within the Muslim kingdoms. As Joya Chatterjee narrates, the first such socio-political organization of Dharma Sabha was established in 1930 for supporting Sati Pratha that was the burning of a live widow along with her dead husband. Landholder Society was another such influenced civic body formed by a few the lords of Babu class that emerged from the permanent settlement by Cornwallis. Joya Chatterjee nicely describes the social evolution of Bengali feudal class growing from rural economy but thriving in Calcutta culture. The vital hymn of Indian nationalism, the song of Vande Mataram, is taken from Ananda Math fiction or that was on distorted history of Fakir Sanyasi rebellion, written by Bankam Chandra Chatterjee. B.C. Chatterjee muted the role of Muslim Fakirs in this rebellion. Here, Mr. Chatterjee tried to hide British rule over 1769 famine. B.C. Chatterjee made derogatory remarks on Muslims in other novels like Sita Ram, Raj Sangha and Devi Chodrani too. Nationalist literatures by other authors like Ishwar Gupta, Tagore or Girish Ghosh were not free from hatred towards Muslim and flavouring Hindu Golden Age, Roma dignifying Rajput and Maratha kingdoms as heroes and Muslim rulers as invaders. During this rise of Calcutta-based Indian nationalism, Viceroy of India, Lord Curzon, declared the partition of Bengal presidency into Muslim-dominated East Bengal and Assam and rest of the Bengal with Bihar and Risa in 1905. This made Bengali Hindus minority in both parts, as many Zamidars had feudal estates in both parts of Bengal. Various Swadeshi organizations emerged in reaction. Some of them were armed groups involving in activities like Muzaffarpur blast that killed the wife and daughter of Pringle Kennedy. Barrister Pringle Kennedy was author of some books such as History of Great Mughals and Arabian Society at the Time of Muhammad, but he observed, Muhammad was, to use a striking expression, the man of the hour. Following the suit, All India Muslim League was established in Dhaka in 1906. Joya Chatterjee portrays in this book how Indian nationalist civic movement, armed struggle and Muslim politics along with the infighting among their subgroups ultimately resulted in the partition of India. Kirsten's partition pushed Bengal and India into a new phase of politics. A relatively vocal group emerged in an international congress causing a crisis with apologetic one in 1907. Even after the reunification of Bengal, nationalist armed groups and continued their struggle aiming for the independence of India. Disappointed by reunification, Muslim League started their own revival movement as new unified Bengal had Muslim majority. Joya Chatterjee depicts the course of Indian nationalism as it continued with Hindu identity citing example of various political leaders, both civic and armed, some even from the monotheist Brahmo society. She also describes the internal conflicts of Sundaranath Chitrajan or in later phases Subhash Chandra Bose and Jitendra Mohan Sen Gupta within the Indian National Congress. Anushilan Samiti and Jugantar Dal within the revolutionaries and AK Fazul Haq versus Sohrwardi and more loyal Nizamuddin group within the Muslim League. She clarifies how Bengal Provincial Congress maintained their exclusiveness despite the rise of Gandhi. Bose asserted his influence in the youth by Bengal volunteers while Haq organized peasants through the Krishak Praja Party. In 1932, 
Responding to the growing demand of Indian political representation, the Labour Prime Minister Ramsay MacDonald declared the communal award for electoral representation for Indian Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, including Europeans, and lower caste Dalit Hindus. As M.K. Gandhi opposed a separate electorate for Dalits, he even started a hunger strike forcing B.R. Ambedkar to sign the Pune Act. Dalit leader Rasiklal Bishwas succeeded to gain 30 seats for the lower caste in Bengal in this pact. This irked the Babu class even more. Joya Chatterjee described the expansion of Indian nationalism beyond the elite class as electoral politics became the deciding factor. Many Hindu temples were opened for lower classes to include them socially for the interests of the aristocrats. She gives examples how Hindu elitists provoked tribal leader Jitu Santhal to implant a Kali idol in a deserted Adina mosque, leading to a conflict with Muslim Zamidar Abu Hayat B. Khan Chaudhary, whose son, ABA Ghani Khan Chaudhary, would be the pioneer of metro railways in India. Similar Babu appeasement was seen among other Dalit leaders, including Sasmal and Panchan Burma. The Congress won 54 seats, Muslim League won 37, the Krishak Parata Party led by Fazulak won 35 seats. In 1937 Bengal provincial elections, helper the 1935 Government of India Act. Fazulak had to form a cabinet with Muslim League and scheduled caste federation as coalition talks with the Congress failed. Various reforms including establishing a secondary education board which was previously under the elite-dominated Calcutta University by Fasdul Haq, deteriorated relations with the Congress. The reconciliation effort by Jinnah and Subhash Chandra Bose did not succeed. 28 months of Congress rule in other states bitter the relationship. Lower caste leaders Naikar and B. R. Ambedkar joined Jinnah in celebrating the Day of Deliverance as Congress ministers resigned protesting the war effort by British government. Huck presented Lahore Resolution on 23rd March 1940. Muslim League led by Calcutta trio Isfahani, Khwaja Nuruddin and Yar Siddiqui with due support on December 1st, 41. Huck managed to continue from 11th December with support of Shima Prasad Mukherjee and some members of Muslim League led by Nawab Habibullah and Congress including forward block offshoot of Congress formed by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Jagandranath Mandal criticized Haq ministry openly on 24th March 1943. Haq eventually resigned on 20th March after surviving no confidence motion on 24th and 27th March. Nizamuddin got support of the Jagandranath Mandal along with Hussain Shaheed Sorwardi to form the government on 24th April. During this period, Bengal saw a severe famine due to the black marketing for Second World War. Author explains how nationalists, all Congress, Hindu Mahasabha and armed factions along with the Marwari businessmen consolidated mass support. Mukherjee took a vital part in these activities. Due to this polarization, both Fazlul Haq and Mandal severed happily next election. Muslim League led by Hussain Shahid Sorwardi won 113 provincial election seats in the 1946. This success embodied Jinnah's position. So were the continued alliance with Mandal taking initiative for electing Biad Ambedkar in constituent assembly who lost in provincial election. In the same election, Shima Prasad Mukherjee, who took the initiative partition of Bengal even when Pakistan is not formed, won as Congress candidate. The advocate of United Bengal, Sharad Bose, the elder brother of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose lost. Partition of India becomes inevitable as cabinet mission of 1946 failed following unsuccessful Punjab government led by Sikandar Ayat Khan with Congress in Akali Dal support and violence in direct action day. Author describes how Hindu groups were flocked for this riot through Babu intellect, muscle powers of Dalits, Bihari, Odia and Sikhs and money of Marwadi businessmen. Muslim legislatures of Bengal and Punjab province voted to Pakistan. Hindu upper caste legislatures of Bengal and Punjab province voted their province to be partitioned. 
Orther described how Indian nationalist intellectuals gathered support for partition of these states as saving Hindus from Muslim rules. This book is a good source to know what led to the partition of a country where myriads of religious beliefs existed together for centuries. This book signifies how the economic changes made the Hindu caste elite prosperous and later desperate. This book also shows the autocratic and communal nature of Indian National Congress politics along with the political dimensions of Bengal. This will help to understand later events in India like Babri Masjid dispute or Naxal Bari movement and subsequent emergency. Here the author also portrays the internal struggle of Muslim League which is vital to understand the events in East Pakistan leading to the fall of Dhaka. Precisely, this is a highly recommended book for someone who is interested in the modern history of the subcontinent.